I went to the grocery store this week and they had blueberries on sale and I just love blueberries. I love blueberry muffins and anything to do with blueberries. So today we are going to make our coffee cake with blueberries. This recipe is in our third cookbook and you've seen me make it with strawberries, but you have not seen me make it with blueberries. And I think you're going to love this recipe. It is super simple to make. Talk about easy. It is easy and you don't even really have to have a hand mixer, but you can use one, of course. Now, make sure you get some nice, fresh blueberries. And when I say fresh blueberries, I do want you to make sure that when you purchase your blueberries, you flip them upside down and you kind of look at them and you make sure there's no molded blueberries. Lots of times berries tend to, if they get the least bit moisture, of uh, moisture they want to mold. So make sure that all your blueberries are pretty and intact and look them over before you put them in your cake, all right? So we've got our blueberries out and ready. You're gonna need a nine by nine cake pan. Uh, this is gonna make a smaller cake. So that's great. You're not gonna have a lot of leftovers if there's just a couple of you. And of course, if you are making it for a large crowd, then you can double the recipe and put it in a 13 by nine. But this recipe goes in a brownie size pan, nine by nine or seven by 11. Okay, in this recipe for the cake batter, you're gonna be using flour, which is self-rising. You're gonna be using two eggs, uh, some vanilla flavoring, three quarter cups of milk. The flour is one and a half cups. And then you've got a half cup of sugar that goes in it as well, and three tablespoons of melted butter. You should have all the ingredients ready to make it at home. So uh, you don't have to rush out and buy anything. If you've got the fresh blueberries because they were on sale or strawberries, um, you can use it for this recipe. So I'm gonna pull you up a little closer and you're gonna join me so that you can see how to make this delicious berry cake. Alrighty, in the recipe book, it tells you to add the ingredients as they're listed. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put in a half a cup of sugar with two eggs. So I'm gonna crack these eggs one at a time. And my chickens are laying some really pretty eggs right now. And I upped the protein in their diet and now they're laying eggs that have a much better shell. We were feeding them a 16% protein um, feed, but now we're feeding them 20% and boy has it made a difference in their eggs. So we're going to mix this together. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add three tablespoons of salted melted butter. We're gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla. You can use buttermilk or regular milk in this recipe, and I am using regular milk. All right, so we're gonna put in three quarter cups of regular milk, and now we're gonna add one and one half cups of self-rising flour, and of course, we're using white lily, the best flour on the universe. I'll start with a cup in here to start with, and then we'll add the half cup after we mix this up good. Once you add the flour into a cake batter, you shouldn't over mix it. It shouldn't take over two minutes to mix up your batter. And now we're gonna add that last half cup of flour.
I'm going to turn the speed up to medium and mix this up good for about a minute. And that should do it. Now it will be a thicker batter if you use buttermilk. But the thinner the milk, the thinner the batter. Okay? Now we're going to take our pan. We're going to spray it good. Do a good job because this is going to be sticky and sugary on the bottom. Now what you're going to do is you're going to pour your berries. If you're using strawberries, you would just slice them and let make sure you've got enough to cover the bottom. Okay? And this was a pint of blueberries. They were all in really good shape, so I didn't have to take out not even one of them. They were all very pretty. If for some reason you get a pint of berries and a lot of them are not all that great, just go ahead and buy two pints because you may want to um, add a few extras in there to get your pan covered on the bottom. And you want your pan to be just covered with blueberries, all right, so that when you flip it upside down, it's going to look delicious. So there you have your blueberries. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take a third cup of sugar and you're just going to evenly distribute it across the berries. I'm going to turn this around and get the sides as well. And then you're going to take four tablespoons of melted salted butter and you're just going to pour it over the top of them and try to get it in there pretty evenly. Now I tell you, if you want to mix it up a little bit with a spatula or a spoon, you can if you want to, if you think you need to do that to make it look even. But I'm not going to mess with mine. I'm going to leave it just like it is. I think it looks good. And now all we do is we take our cake batter and we pour that right over the top. We're going to get this in a 350 degree oven and cook it until a toothpick comes out clean. What we love about this recipe is that you can mix it up, have it in the oven, and out in 30 minutes, and boy, is it just fantastic. And it's good enough to serve for company. So if you're really busy in the kitchen making dinner and you want a quick dessert, this is a good one. We're going to slide this in our oven, and we will see you guys in a few minutes when it's done. All right, the cake is done. I put something in it and it came out clean. So I'm gonna get me just a cooling rack out of my drawer and we're gonna sit it right here on the counter and let it cool down a little bit. Now let's see what the direction says. I think you're supposed to flip it out pretty quick. It says let it cool five minutes and we're going to flip it upside down. So I'm going to time it five minutes and we're going to flip it upside down. I'm excited. Aren't you? It smells so good. Now today we did use White Lily flour. We are sponsored by White Lily. I am proud to say I am because I've been using this flour my whole life. My mother used it her whole life. Her mommy used it her whole life. And the same thing happens on Chris's side. Both sides of his family used it. So we are white lily cooks, I tell you. And it was really easy for me to say, absolutely, I would love for you to sponsor me. 
when they called me up. So this is White Lily. If you've never tried it, make sure you pick it up the next time you go to the grocery store. All right, while we're waiting the five minutes, I'm just going to wipe off the counter good. And if you've ever tried this coffee cake with strawberries, let me know how you liked it. Because I sure love it. And like I said, it's super easy. And it is in the second cookbook on page 53. And down at the bottom, it just says use any kind of berry you want. So you can change it up for blackberry or blueberry or whatever kind of berry you got where you live. All right, let's find something to to flip it out on top of, it'll be pretty. This is a cake plate that I listed for sale not that long ago on our Amazon website store. And I liked it because it's really big, okay? Bigger than most of them. So a 12 inch dome would fit on top of it. And it will look good in the middle of this because it'll have plenty of room around it. And it was very affordable as well. So let me dry it off. I just wiped it off. I like to wipe everything off. When they've been sitting on my shelf, I always want to wipe everything off. This is really pretty. It's got like a beaded design under it. See how it looks? Very nice. Now we're going to flip this out on top of it. And whew, I hope it goes well. Never use blueberries. For this recipe, to tell you the truth, I've always used strawberries. So I think I'll put y'all right here so y'all can see up close, a little closer. And we'll just see how this is going to do. Now, you always have to get a spatula and mend it a little bit, all right? So we're just hoping that it's going to work. So here we go. Y'all ready? Oh, Let's, let's do it this way. Let's do it this way. Let's flip this like this. Pick it up. Then flip it over. That makes a lot more sense, don't it? I'm going to scoot it over just a tad. Right in the middle. Whew. That looks good, don't it? all the way around the cake. Now that is a berry lover's dream. Don't that look good? We're going to slice into this baby and get us a piece. And I'm sure that the longer this sits, the stickier it would be. That's how it's looking. Get it on the plate. Slices really well. So don't that look good? Get us a bite. Good moist cake layer. That is a blueberry explosion. Mm, mm, mm. This is better than any blueberry muffin you'll ever eat. It is super good. Mm. All you need is simple ingredients like butter, sugar, vanilla, and you can have a delicious blueberry dessert in just a few minutes. This is a winner winner. I'm going to tell you, you can't. everybody will rave about this dessert. If they love blueberries, this is a great choice. They're going to love it. We'll see you next time on Colored Valley Cooks, where we cook like our mamas did. Y'all come back and see us. Please hit that like and subscribe button. So go on out and have some fun. Now you're getting dinner done with Collar Valley Cook, your number one. Collar Valley Cooks, hey, we having fun. 
Come.